Be motherfucking magic. You watching Rap Grid, you know what I'm saying? Dot motherfucking com, dot net, shit, org, all that shit, nigga. Be motherfucking magic. St. Louis. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> the nigga with the Rap Grid hat said that. <laughs>that don't have a million dollars to book Cassidy versus somebody, you know what I'm saying? I don't think a lot of times they get respect. And I think, or you know, maybe they don't have the same crossover fans that some of the big leagues may have. But I think sometimes you got to give it up to certain leagues. And um, this is this is really, um, I, I want to make a statement by doing prediction blogs for almost every league. Like usually I do the big battles but I think it will really help bring awareness to some of these cards if, um, you know, I, I get on some of these dope battles that, you know, I have the potential to be, you know, battle of the year candidates. So um, with that being said, I need everybody to check out War Season by Syndicate Cartel. Let's look at the flyer for a second, right? You got Killer B vs. Heartless, C3 vs. DNA, QP vs. Marv 1, Danger Zone vs. Big T and QP Clean Paper QP uh, against Charlie Clips. Um, this is going down in Brooklyn. So, salute to Syndicate to Cartel, salute Black Ice, John Doe for going to New York, which is the lion's den. You know what I mean? No pun intended when it, when it comes to, you know, Battle Rap. It, it's hard to throw a successful event there. And this isn't the first time they're going there doing their thing. So, Salute to y'all, but let me get into this card real quick, all right? Killer being heartless. I think, I hate to say this, but I think this is this is one of them battles where I feel like heartless has always been dope on paper. Some people just don't feel his delivery, you know what I'm saying? He's swaggy, you know what I'm saying? He gets dressed up for the battles, and some people feel the charisma that he comes with. But a lot of times, people don't, don't, don't feel his energy, or they say he, he has a lack thereof of energy. I, I think, it, especially in New York, if, if Heartless doesn't really um, put forth the energy that people can gravitate towards and feel, he'll lose. It's as simple as that. No matter what kind of crazy dope rhymes he has, you know what I mean? And, and Heartless is somebody that I like to see really get back on his shit and, and, and prove that that he's a part of this battle rap movement because he is not as active as he likes to be, but if Heartless don't come with that energy, Killer B gonna get him up out of there, but I don't know, do I have a prediction for that? I say Heartless, man, because he's crafty with the wordplay and he has that ability to say some shit, energy or not. So, C3 and DNA. Let me, let me take time out to give DNA some credit real quick, right? DNA shows up a lot, he freestyles a lot, sometimes it work. Sometimes it's like, uh, man, I, we, we wish DNA didn't take this battle, got prepared, but yo, he, if you look at what DNA is doing right now, he's battling people that could get him to fuck up out of there, no pun intended again. And he's putting himself in these positions where he has to perform, you know what I mean? Like, we just saw him at Fade against uh, Chef Trez. He didn't have to take that battle. That's a battle where he could have got got up out of there if he didn't come properly you know what i mean and and i think the c3's in a, another battle like that like I, i'm surprised that he's even taking this match like c3 is dope she's one of the dopest women in battle rap but i think her talents um with, with freestyling the way she crafts her rhymes it almost transcends the female male barrier you know what i mean like i feel like she's just dope regardless of gender, regardless of what league she comes from. And she says lines that everybody can understand, but are complex enough for you to really give her props and kudos. So, 
I'm gonna give DNA. I mean, DNA. I, I, yo, they should, this should be crazy as far as freestyling and written back in rebuttals and shit like that. But I think C3. I don't think the Tay Rock battle went the way she would like, and I think this is a her chance for her to prove like, yo, I, I slap a nigga's mic around. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let that Tay Rock footage, you know, define who you might think I am. You know what I mean? But I, I give it. I give it to DNA because. I mean, nobody <laughs> niggas don't want to lose to a girl. No matter what you want to say about someone's consistency or something like that. I mean, I, I know he he's gonna go hard because he doesn't want that C3 loss on his record. But that should be a great battle. I'm gonna say that's a sleeper candidate for battle of the night. That might be battle of the night. Now you have QP versus Marv One, Quantum Physics QP. That's on old SONS QP versus Marv One. Um. I didn't think this battle would ever happen. Anyone who follows their timeline and, and knows what's been going on between QP and Marv, like, I'm surprised that even hip hop, give yourself a round of applause for even making this battle happen. I don't even know how they got them to agree to this shit. You know what I mean? But I'm glad they can settle their differences through a rap battle. I'll put it like that. Um, I give Marv. I, I give it to Marv. I think QP is a brilliant lyricist. But the thing about Marv is this: if you ever seen him in a battle where he has a personal vendetta against you, like Marv One versus Cortez, which was on Smack, you know what I'm saying? Um, Marv versus Ava was more like a competitive thing, not like personal shit behind it. And or even like Marv and Pat Stay, I think you get a different type of Marv One. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's easy to just be like, oh, I've been battling forever. This battle is whatever. But you get, when, when you actually have a storyline behind it, you know what I'm saying, when there was some animosity, when you might not like somebody, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a different type of animal that comes out to you and it turns you into a different type of competitor. I just, I just like how Marv is when he's put in those situations. And I think QP would have to get really crazy and aggressive with him to get the upper hand. And I, I don't know if he'll be willing to do that with Marv due to their backstory. So... I got Marv in that battle, um, but it's interesting to see how that plays out. Danger Zone and Big T. That's a great matchup. Big T is quite the lyricist, and I think Big T has been really shining lately. That battle with John John, he was shining. You know what I mean? I feel like ever since people try to count out Big T right before he battled K Shine, and I feel like he battled K Shine, and it's like as soon as he said the bunny ears line, from then until now. He, I feel like he's constantly had something to prove, and and, and he's like regain fanfare. Um, Danger Zone is crazy. People love Danger Zone. I mean, Danger Zone and Chilla have this effect where people just love them. They don't care what they got on, what kind of extra. Sh they love the bars, and that's beautiful from a hip hop standpoint. But Big T got some bars too. I think. I think when you look at line for line, Danger Zone has a consistency this this rarely matched in a rap battle. Um, when you got Big T, he says punch lines back to back to back. You know what I mean? He got a he got a whole lot of crazy shit in the arsenal, and he has like that that big line. And them, them big lines can really shake the room, but I think Danger Zone is just mad consistent. Where either one of them can take the battle, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it. I give a slight edge to Danger Zone on that, but I'm interested to see how that how that battle will really play out. But that's not to sleep on Big T. And then you got the main event, which is QP Clean Paper versus Charlie Clips, and. I mean, Clean, after watching Clean and Ty Law and Don't Flop in Atlanta, like, he's back. He's he's crazy. You know what I mean? He's a fan. For, people have been in his corner waiting for him to take that next step and become a superstar in battle rap. And and Charlie Clips really gives him that pedestal, that, like, stepping stone to get to the next level. But Charlie Clips, I'm not going to front. He has the, the talent level of the best battle rapper of all time. But he been, he, he's been shaky lately. I, I, I've been... I've been the, I haven't even wanted to say that about the man, but he, he's taking rounds off and stuff like that. So ultimately, when you see a Charlie Clips battle, you're like, well, if Clips comes like this, he could win. Of course, Charlie Clips could be anybody in the world. 
you know what I mean? But I give the edge a clean paper in this, and I'm interested to see what Charlie Clips comes. I'm not trying to play Clips, but because he's the man, you know what I mean? He's charismatic, he, he has crazy lines, you know what I mean? I, I think he's good for a good round and a half of craziness, but three consistent rounds, I think clean from what I've seen of him lately, he'll be hungry for that. And I'm just interested to see how Clips comes, like if that could be a million view battle, if Clips comes the right way and it could put QP out of the stratosphere, you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, Syndicate Cartel, you know what I'm saying? The battles this weekend, make sure y'all check it out. War season, don't miss it. Shout out to John Doe, Black Ice. Let's get it. Come on. Battle man for the culture. Like we're not here to play, man. Like Detroit, I'm coming out there. You know, at the end of the day, I feel like you know, it's a battle that gotta happen. It's gonna be a beautiful show. Season two of Rap Grid's Battle Academy is on and popping. Now we've gotten submissions, man. Every single day since Battle Academy ended, people hit us up basically saying, yo man, where can I submit? Is Battle Academy over? And unfortunately, we had to tell you guys, nah, it's over. So we decided to make this a year round thing. You know, seasonally, every few months, we'll close it up and we'll give all you guys an opportunity to, to submit your best bars, if need be, over and over again. And we can go ahead and try to help you get on a league of your choice and become a battle rapper and give you opportunity that you might not have had before.